What is up everybody and welcome to Boost Motorsports. Today's video, I'm gonna be trying to do something I've never done before, not that it's crazy, but I have the remote for the Honda S2000 and it doesn't do anything. The car is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it with that lighting. And you push any of the buttons, nothing happens. So I never got a remote with the car. I only got a single key. And I have this remote, and I mean the battery, hopefully you guys can see it. See that little red light? So it does illuminate, but it doesn't work. So right now it's manual. So I wanna see if I can make it keyless, why not? I got the remote. I found a set of instructions on the internet. Let's see if this works. Normally you need at least one remote to program a second remote on most of the vehicles, some sort of security thing, otherwise you have to take it into the dealership, but let's see if this works. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but we'll find out. Okay, so here's the set of instructions that I have. Let's read them out. Enter the vehicle and close all doors. Each of the following steps must be completed within five seconds of one another. If you take longer than five seconds between steps or make a mistake, you must start at the entire procedure over. Insert the key into ignition. Hold one remote in your left hand with additional remotes close by. So it says additional most remotes close by, but I don't know if you necessarily need an additional remote to do this. Perform each of the next three steps in order, then repeat all three steps two more times for a total of three times each. Turn the ignition to the on position. Press the lock button on the remote for approximately one second. Turn the ignition to the off position. Repeat steps four to six, three times. So on, hold it off, on, hold it off. So you do that three times. Then turn ignition switch to the on position and then press the lock on the same remote. The door should lock. Hi, yeah, yeah. let's go try that. Hopefully it's not a sauna in here. Ooh, let's get in here. Oh, it is a sauna. Aye, 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 guys. Ooh, let's put the windows down first. Bacon. Bacon, bacon. Okay. All right, you guys. So you're gonna see two positions on your actual ignition. You're gonna see, like this is where you put the key in. And then you're gonna see position one, which is kind of like accessory. And then the second one, which is actually ignition on. You hear your fuel pump, your dash turns on, all that stuff. So we're gonna be going between the accessory and on. Those are the two ones we're gonna be doing. So starting from the beginning, I actually have two remotes. I have a Honda one as well, and this no-name one doesn't say anything on it. So we'll program both since we're here. So what we're gonna do is to get it into programming mode, you have to do the sequence three times apparently. So I'm gonna go to accessory, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna hit this one second, turn it off. We're gonna turn it on, hit this one second, turn this off. We're gonna hit this on, turn this off, and we're gonna turn this on. And there you go, you heard it, our door is locked. Okay, so I didn't manage to get the second remote to program, but our first remote is programmed, so you can see here, and unlock. And just to verify for you guys, even the trunk. So, she all pops. Doors lock and unlock. There you go, unlocked. Locked, unlocked, cool, we're back in business. Okay guys, so like I said, for some reason, whatever year this remote is from, I don't have the history on it, I don't even know where it came from, honestly, it's just been kicking around. Um, <clears throat> this one works, but that one doesn't, they look identical, and this one is not a OEM Honda one, as you can see, but this one is, and I don't know, it doesn't work. So, I mean, we got this one working. You can hear the remote works and all that stuff. So pretty uh, mission successful as far as that goes. I hope you guys found this helpful. You only need one remote. It looks like to program a Honda. I'm going to end up getting that thing wrapped. So if you guys are into Hondas or S2000s and stuff like that, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're doing a lot more to the car. We've already done quite a bit to the car. We also have that spoon bumper that's up there that's going to be going on and it's going to get fully wrapped. And we have the wing that's on this side, actually. So I'm um, actually gearing up this weekend to go to the track. So those are our old track tires. That's our spoon replica wing. But um, yeah, lots of stuff going on, you guys. I got to get out of here, though. And you guys will probably see us in the next video tomorrow if you guys are following along with my daily vlogs as well. So right now we're taking the Viper. I got to get some fluids for this so we can hit the track this Sunday. So uh, lots of stuff going on. I'm gonna change to the fluids. Uh, I'm gonna do the differential. We just did the engine oil on that, but gonna do differential and transmission fluid hopefully before Sunday's track day. 
It's got brand new Nitto NT01s on there. So that thing is gonna stick like glue. I'm excited. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Um, also, we're gonna be doing a bunch of detailing videos on this. So now that this is back running, I'm gonna get this cleaned up tomorrow. So should be some content on that. Track content Sundays. See you guys later.